Hello. Can you hear me now? I could hear you then. How you doing, Jason? I'm doing great. What about you? I'm doing just fine. It's been a while I've heard from you. Oh, it's been forever, goodness. Well, what have you been up to? Huh? What to say? What have you been doing? Yeah, you know, I've just been on my job. Oh, what do you do? I work what, every day. What kind of then work you doing? I've been so long later time my daughter. Oh, okay. What kind of work you been doing? Hello? Yes. Hello? Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. What kind of work are you doing? Huh? What you doing for work? Yeah, I'm working as an administrative assistant. Oh, well, that's good, because the last time we talked, you told me your store, your little store closed, and you didn't have no job. Yeah, but you told me I should look for a job, that there are better jobs in Boston, so I went down the streets, I asked my friends, and later on, I found a job. Well, that's great. It's nice that you put some effort in. See, I told you you could find a job. Yeah, you give me a lot of encouragement. You're the reason why I have a job right now. Well, I'm glad you applied yourself. So what else you been doing? I go to work daily, then when I get back home, I relax. I don't really do much of outing. I only spend my little time with my daughter. Okay, how's your little daughter? She's doing great. Well, How good. about your daughter and your son? Oh, my son's great. He's been so busy with his little job. And my daughter-in-law just got back. She took another vacation, and um, she just got home this morning. Oh, that's great. Uh-huh. Seems like you got fun time. Oh, yeah, we're always having fun. Well, like I was telling you in the messenger, we're having a big Halloween pumpkin bonanza. I didn't know if you wanted to come to our party. We could wear matching costumes. Mm, that's really nice. That's great. I would really love to come, but you know the distance. It's not very really close from. Well, it's not that far. You could just, you know, pop on an airplane and come flying over. Uh, I really got much to take over expenses. You know, I thought driving would be better. Oh well, then you could drive. That'd be fine. Just, just pop in your little Prius and toot toot down the road, honey. But that was really far, you know. It'll take days. Well, Halloween ain't for another two weeks. I know that. I really wish I could come. Uh, at least maybe we'll spend a little time, then I'll come back over here to Boston. Okay, well, let me know. Why don't you just, if you start driving now, you'll make it by Halloween. Ha <laughs> You make me laugh. I'm being serious. I mean, if you want to come to the party, I mean, my, my sister Bardeen went to the Costco and she got the big cheese platter with the big slices. It's going to be a great party, honey. I'll just let you know if I'll be able to come before Halloween. Okay, well, you do that. Now, let me know because we could go as that, like matching costumes. We could go as like zombie Ken and Barbie or something. I don't know. Um, how about your daughter? Where's your little daughter? Yeah, she's in college. How old is she again? She's 20. Oh, okay. I was going to invite her to go trick-or-treating, but she's too old for that mess. Okay. Well, then she don't have to come. Uh, she don't really have to come. She was spending some time with her friends over here. Oh, good. Well, good. She'll be out of our hair. So, um, I was thinking, I mean, if you if you leave on Monday, you could be here by Halloween. Yeah, that's all right. You don't, you don't I'll sound excited. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Well, what do you got to think about? You either coming or you're not. I mean, it's not a difficult decision. I know. But, you know, we're driving all the way to close, you know. And I would have preferred the flight, but I don't really have about that right now. That's why I'm thinking about driving. Okay, well then drive. I mean, it's not hard. You just get in your car, put on your little seatbelt, and go. Okay, I'll let you know. Well, I gotta know soon because 
if we're going to do this, I've got to reserve a chair for you. We have about 100 people at our Pumpkin Bonanza. And my, my son Kyle went to the Home Depot and got that 200-foot skeleton to put in the front yard. And I mean, so I just I need to know if you're going to be my date or not. Okay. I'll just let my daughter know about it, and I'll get back to you tomorrow. I promise. Okay, Jason. Well, uh, I just need to know because i got to buy the costumes. I'll let you know by tomorrow. Hope you will run over to talk with tomorrow. Oh, I will. I'll be waiting because I need to know if you're going to be my date or not. Because if you're not, then i got to find someone that wants to be my, my great pumpkin, honey. Because i I got to have someone here at this party. I mean, i, I got to show off because my sister Bardeen couldn't find a date. But she's going to, um, she found a costume. She's going to go as the Michelin man. She doesn't have to even, like, buy anything. She could just go as herself. So, I mean, I'm hoping that you'll be able to, to join us. Okay. I'll just get, I'll just think about it and let you know tomorrow. Just give me a little time. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you some time to think about it. And like I said, we're having, you know, all kinds of delicious food. And we I might have um, my neighbor Earl. He's, he's in a Conway Twitty cover band. He might come and play some music for us. And we're going to dance. And... Oh, it's going to be so much fun. And then we wait for the great pumpkin to show up at midnight. So it's going to be fun, honey. I think you can get away and enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's right. Oh, my God. Well, don't sound too excited, honey. No, I sound, I, I sound excited, but it's just... I'm just having this other thought about driving over. You what? Hello? Yes. Can you hear? Me? I can hear you. Yes. Hello. I said I'm not. I'm not feeling down. Like I'm excited about it. Just it's just that it's just about the driving. You know, driving all along is not really easy like that. And for my age, you know. Well, you just just stop and get yourself some energy drinks. You'll be fine. Okay. Well, let me know because. You know, like I said, I, I'm going to need a date, and I want to go with Zombie, Barbie, and Ken, and I need my Ken. <laughs> you really make me laugh. I make me laugh, too. Well, I hope you can get the time off from your new job, honey, as a as a secretary. Yeah, I can take I can take a permission and come over. I think my boss will allow me. Oh, good. I was worried about that because you just started. Mm, I'll tell him his family, so I think he'll consider it. Oh, okay. Now, are you going to rebuild your grocery store, or did you decide not to do that? I'm thinking about it, but, you know, I have to get us some amount before I can rebuild it. Well, how I can't just start... A, how much would it cost to, to do the grocery store? Mm, I don't want to start with something big. I just want to start with something small, and maybe when I start making profit, I can make it bigger as before. Well, yeah, of course, honey. That's that's how the Circle K markets were made. So, how how much would it cost you to get the the grocery store going again? Uh, I was thinking maybe like three grand would do it. Oh, that's not very much. I mean, are you gonna sell like like food and hot Cheetos, or what are you gonna sell at the store? Yeah, I'm gonna sell some. I I was put on some fruit, some. Some grocery items. Mm -hmm. I'm not really going to start big. I just want to start small. I like, because if I start big, it can fall down again. Like, things can crumble up. Because, you know, I'm not really financially stable right now. I'm still starting up with my new job. But if I had someone who could maybe support me in my business, then I could start big like normal before. That's what I was thinking of. Just three grand for a start. Oh, well, three grand, that's nothing. Yeah, I spend that at the dollar store. Um... Goodness, that would be exciting. I, you could you could open a grocery store and call it the Bardeen Mart. That would be kind of cool. Um, I don't know, honey. Where where are you gonna put this store? Uh, I was thinking somewhere not too far from my home, so I don't really get to go far, and I will have to quit my former job, so I can really focus on my grocery business because I already have a big dream about my grocery business. Well, I mean, we all have big dream. What what would you name the grocery store? Yeah, I was thinking of naming it after my daughter. What's its name? My daughter's name is Jenny. Jenny's Groceries? Yeah. Hmm. 
they call it, you know, J Row or something. I don't know. I mean, it, you need a I name that's gonna name. pop. Yeah. I, I I don't. I can think of another name. It must not be Jenny. Like I can think of something, but that was what was on my mind before. Well, that's. I mean, that would be okay. I mean, I'd I'd call it, you know, like. I don't know the Bardeen's Bonanza Hut or something. I don't know. I, it's something that's poppy. You got to have a character. You don't give me some advice about it, you know. Well, uh, like I said, my my little local grocery store, we sell hot Cheetos, and that's that's a big seller. And I'm sure in Boston, they're they're a big seller too. And and Mountain Dew, hot Cheetos and Mountain Dew. That's the diet of every American. I swear. <laughs> For my for my shop, I go see hot Cheetos too. Oh, good. Yeah, hot Cheetos are the best. I, we eat them almost every day here. You know, that's that's why we're we look like we do. So goodness, hot Cheetos and Mountain Dew, and I don't know, maybe some moon pies or something. Maybe you should make some fresh pastries. Do you know how to make pastries? Yeah, I know how to make pastries, like some donuts, some oh. hot dogs, some. Donuts and Bons hot dogs. Oh, donuts and hot dogs. Good Lord, that's Bardeen's breakfast cereal. So, oh, that would be neat. I think you should do pastries and um, hot dogs and, you know, just, just healthy food. You know, donuts, hot dogs, hot Cheetos, you know, some deep fried something. I mean, whatever gets people through the day, honey. Yeah, that's a really great idea. Then I know. I will also add a lot of energy drinks, you know, in my grocery shop, so... Oh yeah, you, know, you you gotta have the energy drinks. I mean, what would we be in America without hot Cheetos, hot dogs, donuts, and energy drinks? I mean, this is what their, our country was founded on. When George Washington discovered America, you know, he had like an energy drink in one hand and a chocolate cream donut in the other, and he said, "Lord, this is America." <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm not very good at history or science, but I'm sure that's how it's how our country was founded. So, oh, it's it's exciting, honey, to think about a grocery store. Goodness. Yeah, that's the business I've always wanted to do since when I was little. Really? I was this business mindset. What made you want to be a grocery store clerk? Did you did you like when you were a little kid? Did you used to play with groceries or something? Uh, my dad was a an accountant, my mom had a little grocery store before. Oh, goodness. Well, that, then you're carrying on a family <laughs> tradition of grocery stores. Yes, that's what I want to do. Oh. I also want to spoken up like my mom because my dad didn't really make much out of accounting. Well, he must have not been very good was at he, it. Yeah, it's not like he wasn't very good. He, he didn't work in a bank or something and just manage some few firms. Oh, okay. Well, I, I would never be an accountant. My my daughter-in-law, Adriana, handles all of our business money, so she knows what's what's what. I just... Yeah, I, I'm not good at maths, honey. Oh. So, how who does your calculation and everything for you? Oh, my, my daughter-in-law, Adriana, she is a whiz with math and banking. She just... She knows every penny I have, and, you know, she's just, I'm so grateful that she's my accountant, too. We keep it all in the family, honey, trust me. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. She was a very, very hardworking woman. Oh, she is. She, like I said, she just got back from New York. She was, um, she flew out there to buy some purses, but, um, you know, and then my son Kyle, he, he doesn't do the family business. He has his own little business, but, um, my sister Bardeen helps me when she can and, um, when her, when her bunions are okay. And yeah, you know, it's just a family affair. You should do, um, a family grocery store. Yeah. That's what I really want to do. Mm-hmm. Well, you should. I don't. There's nothing stopping you. Yeah, you know, I have to get out some money first because right now, the money I'm earning, I'm going to settle my major bills right now. Uh huh. Well, just because you know, I was you know yeah. Huh? Well, you you have was, some business. Was, what are you saying? What were you saying, honey? You have to settle some business. Yeah, like it will take some time. I can't just start right now. Except I had someone who could help me start up something. So I can continue from there. Oh. Okay. Then maybe the person can be my investor. Then he gets his own profit of everything I make in my business. Oh, that's a good idea. You should have an investor, like, invest in your store and be like a shareholder. I really look up to that. 
Oh, well, that shouldn't be hard. It's only $3,000, honey. That's that's not very much money at all. Mm -hmm. I know that, but I don't have it right now, so how do I start it? Well, get yourself an investor. Like, I mean, $3,000, I mean, like I said, I spend that in a weekend at the Dollar Tree. I mean, I don't, I don't understand why you can't just pull $3,000 out of your hat, honey. You know... I've been down since I'm just getting back on my feet, so I don't really have much. You know this, and you know things have been good on your side for a real long while right now. Mm -hmm. And you have a son and a daughter-in-law who's really well, all I have is just my daughter and me, just trying to make things up. Well, and live a normal life. Yeah, your daughter's in school. You should pull her out of college and use that money instead to do the grocery store. She can just go get a job somewhere else. Yeah, I just. She she really wanted. To, she's almost done with cause she, with college, so I just thought it would be best for her to finish first. Then maybe she start working and change things for both of us. Well, if you yeah, if I you if you make her quit now, you'll probably save some money. Just tell That's her that right. you know your right. dreams are more important. I mean, she's got her whole life ahead of her. She can go back to college when she's like fifty. That's true. I can do that. I also added to my suggestion like. I'll think about it. Uh huh. Well, I don't know. I just, I just, that's just my thoughts. I wouldn't be paying for her college. I just tell her, look, you know, we're gonna open a grocery store, and she can help you work at the store. Yeah, that's great. She can be my cashier, and me, I'll take all the everything. Like, I'll do the other stuff and job, and she will just be the front desk. Yeah, that worked perfectly. I, I, I mean, all this is working out amazing. I'm, I should be a life coach. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. You really helped me. You know, you remember you helped me with a job. Like, you don't encourage me. If not, I was just at home sitting doing nothing. You gave me an encouragement to go look for a job. Well, good. I'm glad I helped you. You need to, you know, you need to work. Everyone's got to work. So I'm glad you found yourself a little job. And then you're going to go ahead and do the grocery store business. Good Lord, you're going to be fine. Yeah, I hope so. Of course. Everything will be fine. So how's things with you? How's business? How's everything? Oh, it's been so busy. I just, I can't even keep up with the amount of orders we get. It's been crazy. And then, you know, trying to get ready for this Halloween party. It's just nonstop. Oh, get it. Because you're really expecting a lot of people to come, right? Oh, yeah. Probably at least a hundred. Yeah, it, like, is it inside your house or outside? Oh, well, so. Is your party? It'll be out in the gazebo, and then some of it'll be inside, just depending on the weather. And then last year we had a tornado, so we had to have it inside. But um, we'll have a big gazebo with a disco ball, and it's going to be fun. Oh, that's really great. Yeah, last year we I bought too much last year. We had so much food left over, I had to throw it out in the street. The dogs ate it. It was crazy. Oh, so who's cooking? I don't cook in all your sister. Oh, no, I don't cook. My sister Bardeen's going to make her plop pies, but um, we'll have everything catered in. We just we just call a catering company and have them come in. Oh, that's great. That's a really great idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't cook, honey. Cooking's for the poor. So what you're saying? You're saying I'm poor or what? No, I'm just saying that I don't cook. Poor people can cook. I have people cook for me. But I cook. Well, that's on you, honey. I d I'm not going to cook. I would never cook. Uh, it's just, things are good on your side, that's why. Well, of course, honey, I, you know, I don't cook, I don't clean, I have someone come and clean my toilets and my bathtubs, and I, I just, yeah, I don't do anything, I don't have to. Yeah, I just hope so I can be like that one day. Uh -huh. well, but I really do my cleaning and my cooking. Oh, I would never clean. I just I just hire someone off of, you know, the internets to come clean. But, um, yeah, no, we don't. I don't clean. That's good on inside. Yeah, I, you would never catch me with a scrub brush, honey. No, I'm not. I'm not one of those kind of wives. <laughs> yeah, your pictures, you, your skin is really glowing and all fresh. Well, yes, I use I use the the tanning cream all the time, and I'm always in the tanning booth, and then I'm sitting by the pool, so I I have fresh tan skin 24 hours a day, honey. Yeah, I see that. I always mm -hmm. admire pictures. Anytime you're on a YouTube, you talk with me. Uh huh. Of course, honey. I'm always doing something. Always out at a party or you know traveling. It's life at the top is hard. <laughs> 
that's that's really great mm -hmm. yeah. I hope I get to the top one day and maybe you don't know or go with business associates or something well maybe maybe you can we'll we'll open a grocery store together honey <laughs> yeah that's true uh, you could in it you could decide or something mm -hmm. and I can open it real quick or something and you could even choose a name or something well, I I still call it Barney Bardeen's Bonanza Mart, but that's just me because my my sister, you know, she she loves groceries, so uh, naming a grocery store after her would be like a monumental thing. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. So, what you doing now? Well, I'm getting ready. We're gonna go out and and have a late lunch. Um, I'm gonna meet my sisters. We're gonna go to the buffet, um, and then you know, of course, um. Working tomorrow. Oh, so in preparation of the party, right? Yeah, planning for the party. I've got to get the decorations out of the basement. I've got so much to do. So much work on it. Yes. Well, honey, let me know if you're going to come to our Halloween party, okay? Okay. okay. I'll, I'm get, I'll, I'll give it to you this evening or tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow or this evening, okay? Okay, Jason, so, that sounds good. Okay, so is it a good buy or what? Is it what? Is it, are you going? Are you going out now? I am. We're gonna go to our buffet and eat till we are sick. So, um, just give me a call later on today or tomorrow. I'll always be around now, honey. Okay, Bye, Jason. Sweetie. Bye, Chuckles. Have a good day. Okay. Bye. <laughs>